uh, hi everyone and welcome back and welcome to my new playlist i have already covered the first video where i talked about that i will be covering interview questions for angular react vue.js nest.js node.js html css everything okay i have already covered a 66 or 70 videos playlist which talks about javascript interview questions which is a coding questions string array stack queue linked list all possible questions are there which are basics okay now this playlist is primarily focusing on technical side okay like interview questions primarily in html css javascript vanilla javascript or some framework we can pick like angular react or vue.js or node.js okay so we are starting with the basic javascript first and in the the first question itself i'm going to talk about ajax this is very basic and everybody know what is ajax asynchronous uh, javascript and xml and how we are going to make the ajax call from the front end now we have all these different set of tools like fetch apis xeos http client we use indirectly we are just using xhr apis of browser to make that api call and that is nothing but a ajax call so how actually ajax call works okay that we will talk about in this video what is xml http request what is active x object okay so what we will do is consider that we are writing a javascript and we will wrap our code inside a ify block okay so that is whenever you write a code it's better that you wrap it inside a ify block it is a self invoking functional expression okay so this is the ify block which we will construct in the ify block we are closing everything so it is a self invoking expression okay now we can write our code here so what do we have is we have simple one button okay button which we can get from document dot get element by id and we have an event listener added for that okay so whenever you click on to this ajax button we are going to make a request so here we will write a function uh, make request and make request will have our code so when we are actually making a ajax call we have to create xml http request object so we have to check either we are on the ie browser or the modern browser so we have to check window dot uh, xml http request if this object is available then we are good we can actually initialize xhr with the object of new xml http request we got the xhr object if window doesn't have that means it should be pointing to active x object which is for uh, ie browser and you have to pass the parameter also i think it should be microsoft dot xml http let's see okay this is the option you have to pass now xhr so when before you make the xhr request these are the different ready state we have to check okay xhr dot ready state once it ready state is uh, 4 means the request has been finished okay so based on that we will make an api call so xhr dot on ready state change xhr dot on ready state change on ready state change this is a function inside this function we will check the ready state if this dot ready state if this ready state is 4 or this dot state is 200 status is 200 that means his service server is ready to respond and we got the response so document dot get element by id we can actually set the value to some id which is like a result 
dot inner html equal to uh, the data which we have received let's say response text we are getting this dot response text something like this and here we will make a request using xhr dot open why it's not getting autofill xhr dot open so method name which is i'm making get request this will be my url let's say some dynamic url i have and third argument is true okay you can also set the set headers and all these things xhr dot set request headers and in this you can set the content type and all content type is application json or something like this <clears throat> and finally xhr dot send so here we are actually sending an api call and now this is our simple ajax call which we have written so this will be triggered when server is ready to respond ready status is 4 and status is 200 then we will get the response text it can be a response xml response text based on what server is sending okay and we are setting the headers and sending it so we are sending to this url http get request okay this is like pretty much uh, straightforward it just we have to uh, check on what is the ready status so always check ready status 4 and uh, the server status 200 then only we should be able to assign the response to the some dom node in your html okay so let's talk a few more things about javascript in the next video